Hi everyone and welcome back to Hikadwa Guide and welcome back to Sri Lanka also I must say because in this video I will share some really amazing good news for people like you who are dreaming to come back to Sri Lanka as soon as possible. First, I just want to say thank you to everyone that is subscribing to this channel. It really gives me a motivation to keep making videos about traveling to Sri Lanka. Secondly, this video is made for foreigners in mind. It's for people that want to come to this beautiful island in the Indian Ocean on a tourist visa. For Sri Lankans that want to return, there are other rules. So in the description you will find a link with relevant information for you but as I proceed this is information on the tourist road. I know a lot of people in Europe have been feeling really stuck lately. I hear from my friends and relatives and family in Norway that so many people now are really dreaming about travel again. So I'm really Excited to share this big news that happened now with you, so let's go! So, how to travel to Sri Lanka in 2021? I described in this video, I described what was the rules then in January 21. And now in April there's a new update that is actually easing up the process a bit for some of you. I will explain everything. So these are the new quarantine measures for travelers arriving from overseas. It's from Ministry of Health and it's dated now in April. So this one is canceling the last, last uh, measures. Okay, so you still need to get uh, approval to enter the country. And you need to show a negative COVID-19 test before flying here. That's the same as earlier. But the main news now is about the COVID vaccination certificate. Travelers who have received the recommended doses of COVID-19 vaccine they need to bring a vaccination certificate in English or translated to English. When they arrive to Sri Lanka, they need to go to the level one hotel and get their on arrival test. Here is the rules A45. Quarantine measures for fully vaccinated travelers. If the recommended doses of the COVID-19 vaccine are completed and depart from abroad two weeks after completion of vaccination, they will be considered as fully vaccinated and following measures should be taken. No further quarantine is necessary for fully vaccinated travelers. So the person in charge of the quarantine hotel or center will give them a discharge document and they are free to travel. Uh, a lot of people have been asking questions about children. So children above 12 years also need to be vaccinated to be able to travel on the first day after arriving Sri Lanka. If they are below 12 years, there's no need to vaccination. They can be discharged with their vaccinated uh, parents. But above, above 12 years, they will need to be vaccinated. If not, they have to do the normal two weeks quarantine stay. And also children below two years will not be subjected to PCR testing after arrival to Sri Lanka. And they will also be discharged with fully vaccinated caretakers. So that is the main change in these new regulations. This is signed by Dr. Asela Gunavardena, Director General of Health Services. So this is the official document. 
I can see some of the web pages are still not being updated. The Sri Lankan government are not so good at updating there. But they have sent this out circulation to all tourist providers. So this is the thing that is valid. So for people that are vaccinated, that have done the COVID-19 vaccine in their home country, they can now travel to Sri Lanka more freely without this lengthy uh, level one certified safe and secure hotel projects. And this is what you get when you travel to Sri Lanka. So if you are not vaccinated yet, you still have to do those 14 days stay in a safe and secure level one hotel. One thing I didn't explain very good last time is that you don't have to stay 14 days in Sri Lanka. You can still come on a short travel, some neighboring countries, people staying in Dubai or India or places close to here they might be interested to come for let's say a six day stay and that is possible you can come and stay in one of these beautiful nice level one hotels and have a wonderful seven days holiday and then fly out without problem and for example coral sand they are a level one certified hotel here in Hikadua. when you're staying there you don't feel like you are in quarantine you feel like you are on holiday. You can go swim in the pool, you can stay on the sunbed, you can even go to the beach and swim in the sea. They have like a, a special designated area of the beach where their guests can go. So of course there are rules, you need to clean hands, you need to wear a mask in the public areas when you're not eating, there are especially safety. They are taking care of the safety, but you still get a chance to feel like you're on a holiday. So there's still an option for that as well. And I'm not the one to tell if traveling right now is right for you and your family. That's a decision up to you. I just want to explain, this is the rules. This is how it is possible to do it now. So then rest is up to you. So I'm very interested to hear from you in a comment. What country are you from? Have you received your COVID-19 vaccination? And would you consider traveling to Sri Lanka this year? Please comment below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe and you can also press the bell to get notification. So then see you in the next video. Bye-bye.